Hello, this is a informational webinar for partners of Second Harvest Food Bank of Southern Wisconsin to learn more about the process of direct connect with Quick Trip stores. Um, we have approximately 100 Quick Trip stores currently that are working with our partner agencies and we're excited about the partnership with Quick Trip because they are very involved with their communities and excited to be part of a, a food rescue program. Their mission statement is as on the current screen, uh, which is to serve our customers and community more effectively than anyone else by treating our customers, coworkers, and suppliers as we personally would like to be treated and to make a difference in someone's life. So they really do believe in the words here and they have this posted in all of their stores uh, for everyone to see because it is something that they ask um, their co-workers, which is their staff, to, to learn and to live by. So they really believe in this information. Uh, a little bit of background information about Quick Trip. Um, there are currently more than 600 stores in the Midwest, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Iowa. In Iowa, they are known as Quick Star. There was a, a naming um, conflict, I guess, there. And they currently employ over 20,000 people. So obviously, they make a big impact on our communities in that way as well. They are very committed to freshness of product. And because their stores are fairly small, they don't have a lot of back stock. So they are delivering uh, on the highways and byways every day of the week, Monday through Sunday. Uh, not every store gets a delivery every day. Some do, um, but some are, are getting that delivery as frequently as possible. They are a family-owned business uh, based in La Crosse. They currently have three generations working at the company with um, a fourth generation being groomed, shall we say. <laughs> They're very small, small kids at this time. Um, but they are very much um, a family operation and treat the coworkers as a family, and they manage all of the business decisions because they are not a franchise. And they do not have to um, follow some, some of the more stricter regulations that a franchise or folks with um, more restrictions might have to. So they continue to be a top place to work as named in many different publications and recently as 2016 in the uh, Journal Sentinel and the Star Tribune. Um, they consistently have people who are um, happy to have been there in, for 20 plus years, 20 and, and longer. Their core values at the company are honesty, integrity, respect, excellence, humility, innovation, and a work ethic. And they do embody these, these uh, values each and every day. The culture that they have with those values and with their mission statement, they drive the partnership with Feeding America, with the food banks. Um, there are five of us, with Second Harvest being one of them, um, as well as other charitable organizations. I know in the past they have worked with um, Special Olympics and the Honor Flight, um, as well as several others and very local organizations in your communities from, you know, a little league team to um, different Boy Scout troops and such like that. They're happy to work with the community. They uh, do have aggressive expansion plans. Uh, they have been doing that, but they continue to plan additional stores. In fact, 40 to 50 new stores annually in those three states over the next five years. This is a $300 million plan um, at this point. They're uh, investi investing over $113 million in new facilities uh, like the, in La Crosse at their uh, headquarters campus. They are already well over a million square feet and 120 acres in, in that area, but they are expanding their facilities in the bakery, dairy, kitchen, and transportation areas. They do operate their own fleet, do all of their own repairs, um, so that transportation piece will be really important for them to be able to service those additional stores as well. That expansion is going to continue to help um, communities and, in fact, our state um, as it generates a new and expanded tax base, as well as job opportunities for additional workers in the stores, 
but then also those that are doing the expansion, the construction contractors, subcontractors, and suppliers. By expanding the food production operations, this is going to allow them to continue with the very strict control that they require for food quality and their offerings, and then, of course, food safety as well as efficiencies. Um, these control their costs by being vertically integrated, where they are producing so much of the, their own branded products, and this helps keep the prices down. They are committed to long-term sustainability, which means that they are uh, building new stores that will utilize green technologies, um, and then they have three to five stores per year that are existing buildings that they are going back and getting green certified. So that that means that they are using, you know, low, low emissions and um, other environmentally friendly products in their stores. So digging into the actual process for the pickups at the stores, um, for each store that you have been partnered with, you will be provided by Second Harvest some gray totes. These are very specific totes that Quick Trip has um, asked to be used. They are food safe and they are differentiated somewhat from the totes that they do use in their stores. Um, the stores will have a sticker on two sides that do say Feeding America, so you can identify them to be the ones used in the food rescue program. Um, there will be six because their store will always have three at their location that they'll be putting donations in, one in their cooler, one in their freezer, and then one of the, in their dry storage. And then three will be in transit, ones that you will have just picked up and maybe taken back to the food pantry and emptied and distributed the food. And then the next time you go back, you take those three empty ones and switch them out for three full ones, hopefully. Um, we reviewed this at the store when we dropped them off, but of course, uh, following food safety protocol, they should be stored six inches off the floor and away from chemicals and cleaners um, when they are being filled with the food. Of course, we do ask that the bins be very clean at all times. Occasionally, something might get opened or spilled or just in transit. Um, if the pantry could please be responsible to keep those clean, we do want to have the stores know that we appreciate um, the food safety expectations and some cleanliness pieces of that as well. We do ask that you keep track of your bins. Occasionally we get one back with a second harvest truck or um, you know maybe they get borrowed for other uses. But if you do need to replace those, there is a $15 charge. Um, we can supply those to you and would prefer to do so so that they are specific to that, um, that exact item. Um, but you should always have six at all times, six for each store. Additionally, a thermal blanket is used as a passive temperature control device per our food safety instructions. Um, we will provide you with one of those, and it should be large enough to um, cover multiple bins. Uh, if you have more than one store, you shouldn't need a blanket per store. You would need a scale, obviously, to weigh the donations when you receive them. And then an infrared thermometer that we provide as well, um, that that is used both at the store and upon receipt back at your pantry um, to, again, ensure that all of the food has been kept at food safe temperatures during transit. Specific donation information by category or item. You can see here, um, these kind of follow along with the three bins. So the left side here is for what will be stored in the freezer. Obviously frozen items like uh, ice cream bars or um, you know frozen pizzas and such. But then there are items that are often not frozen but stored in the freezer at the, at the store. This helps ensure longer uh, life cycle on the donation and that includes the packaged bakery items as well as fresh meat out of their meat case. Uh, as well as you can see other cheese mountain pizzas, uh, some sandwiches with the exception of those that have egg salad or tuna salad, um, and then uh, breakfast items. In the cooler is where you would find things like milk and then also eggs or butter. Um, those are uh, eligible for donation as well. 
And then the dry goods or back room is where you might find chips or your bananas or some of the non-food items. Uh, the next slide has items that are not eligible for donation. And this, this list is specific. If it is um, not included on this list, it is eligible for donation. Um, so whereas eggs were not specifically stated anywhere because they are not on the do not donate list, they, they are eligible. Um, but those items that are not are mostly for food safety uh, reasons or quality as deemed by Quick Trip. So any of the hot spot items, the roller grill items, um, condiment items, uh, their yogurt parfaits specifically because of the granola and such that is included in that. Fruit other than bananas. So bananas are eligible, but not at this time. Apples, oranges, and pears, etc. Uh, potatoes, onions are included in that as well. Um, and then all salads and single serve bakery items. Those are items, of course, where someone might take the item out of the case and uh, just change their mind or accidentally touch it and put it back or something like that. Um, so we just want to make sure that there's no cross-contamination of any of those single-serve single, single serve bakery items. And then the glazers. Everyone is always sad to hear about the glazers not being eligible, but because they are um, very short life on the quality for that item, um, Quick Trip would rather not have someone have to take an item that is substandard quality. Um, the nature of the glazer just makes it not as tasty after about 24 hours. They are good though. Not acceptable items, of course, uh, probably follow along with any of your uh, policies as well. Uh, common sense items like things that are rotting or moldy, have visible bruising, something that is um, squished, the, that is, has lost its presentation. So if a, a loaf of bread was on the bottom of something and got squished. Um, a can of non-perishable items with punctures, bulges, or damage, uh, you know, an obvious uh, breach of the inner packaging, something like that, um, and loss of any sanitary protection and then anything with freezer burn as well. But things are turning quickly enough, I doubt that you would see anything with freezer burn. Uh, the donation protocol, these are some agreements that we have in place with Quick Trip to maintain a positive relationship. Um, one of them being probably one of the most important is that consistent schedule. Uh, twice weekly is the minimum and is also the norm. Uh, we have a, a few agencies that do have uh, very busy or very large stores and they go more frequently but twice weekly is the requirement and the minimum and is what is we see most often. Um, that can vary depending on your distribution schedule. It is, uh, there are no specific days. Um, so you can work that out with your, the store leader at your location. Um, the, the next requirement is that monthly reporting and that is probably just as important. Um, we do ask that you Report via Meal Connect at least once a month. More frequent is uh, certainly acceptable, um, but definitely a minimum of one, once a month. Just for frame of reference, 225 pounds is what the monthly average is per store currently. That does vary widely. Um, but if you're finding that you're below that average or you know even maybe below 100 pounds or so, please do let me know because that might be something that we should address with the store leader or even a district leader. Um, there might be some opportunities that the store does not realize are eligible. I have recently heard um, a few store leaders mention they didn't know they could donate milk or they didn't know they could donate eggs. Um, so there are certainly some items here um, that we want to make sure everybody is aware of and we can get those pounds up if we need to. Non-food items, for example, um, anything that is a health and beauty product that maybe had a broken cap or um, is discontinued, something like that, should be separated from the food. It would be in that dry bin, but probably in um, a plastic bag. So that would be an acceptable form of separation. And the pantry volunteers who are there doing the pickups have a, a few expectations as well of those of that individual. They should be identifiable by a name badge whether um, the one on a lanyard that Second Harvest can provide or if you do have one um, for your pantry with your uh, pantry name and logo or something, that would be acceptable as well. 
the volunteers should arrive and use the front doors and um, uh, just sort of make their presence known in the store with someone at the counter or an available coworker in the area. Um, at that time, the coworker can go ahead and get the bins um, for the volunteer at that time. Uh, sometimes the back door is open because they are receiving deliveries, but they do prefer that you use the front doors. Um, to please be knowledgeable about what items are eligible for donation uh, from that list we had a little bit ago. Um, if, they, if you see there are items being donated that shouldn't be, especially more than once, it, it would be something to address with the store leader or the co-leader um, because they should not be donating those items. And to, of course, use the provided bins and thermal blanket and follow good safety practices about taking and recording temperatures and, of course, um, just ensuring that the, the area where the food is being received is always clean and um, maintained. As far as taking the foods, the temperatures of the food, um, this is a handy chart that can help identify where there would be any concerns, and that would be in those red areas. Uh, the frozen product is up above, the refrigerated product is down below, um, and if there are concerns off of here, to please note it is always better to err on the side of caution and uh, dispose of items that are not within safe temperatures or to not collect the items and, and inform the store personnel that, that, that those are um, not allowed at that temperature. So feel free to print something like this and post it or share that with any of the stores as you see appropriate. The rotation of donations is something that is also um, asked of Quick Trip or at, by Quick Trip that they are asking that um, now this is not pertaining to frozen product, but any other product from the cooler or the dry area should be uh, distributed as soon as possible and should not be held at the pantry for longer than two days from the receipt or from the marked expiration date, whichever is actually longer. Uh, with the exception of milk, there is an extended uh, donation period on that because they do bottle it themselves and it is so very fresh. Um, some stores are pulling that off of the out of the cooler for donation as, a, as much as three days prior to the date, um, and then depending on what day you go and pick that up, it should not be held at your pantry for longer than four days from that marked expiration date. If you have any questions, of course, please let us know on that. Um, the reporting piece of it, please do track weights for each pickup, so if you are doing more than one store, um, you would want to keep those separate as well. But each time you go, it's easiest to track those numbers by weighing the, the product as you're coming back to the pantry. And certainly, you, it may be easiest to weigh them right in the bins as they're being unloaded. Just please do remember to take the five pounds, five pound tear for the bin itself off of the weight. And then um, again, tracking each store separately. Many of you do have more than one store and we do track those individually in Meal Connect. Uh, receipt detail by the type of item is appreciated. Um, at one time when we first began a program, we just only had uh, three categories, dry, cooler, and freezer. Um, it is very helpful at this time, um, again, to have some more information about what the product actually is, whether it's produce or milk or meat. There is a description line in Meal Connect in the receiving process to go ahead and fill that in. Um, that is extremely helpful to, again, track our foods to encourage or items um, at the more detailed level. If you are not sure if the bin is, you know, full and it is cumbersome to unload each and every item and separate it, um, an estimate is, is sufficient. Um, you know, 50% of it is, is produce and the other half is meat or you know those would not be frozen so they wouldn't be in there together but that's a bad example um, and then the reporting at time frame please have all your reporting completed by the fifth business day of the month um, after the last or after your last pickup 
Um, this is different than some of the other reporting deadlines that you have for second harvest, but it is dependent uh, the, the timing I have to report to Quick Trip as far as their store donations. So by the fifth business day of the month. If you do miss um, uh, that deadline for whatever reason, um, go ahead and enter it for the next month. It will uh, be included. We would never want to just skip a month altogether. Um, it would get in for the following month where it might just look like a larger amount, uh, but it's appreciated if you can catch up. So my contact information is here. I work with Quick Trip um, headquarters on some of the high level programmatic questions. Uh, so if you do need more information, please let me know or certainly contact your SAR. Um, again, I really appreciate all that you do to help us with this partnership and program. Um, there are additional opportunities throughout the year um, for fundraising and other um, ways to engage the store. So please feel free to establish a relationship with those folks that are excited to be part of the program. Um, but we do all appreciate what you do. Thank you so much. Okay. Recording title should be something recorded.